Hi, welcome to our first makeup tutorial of 2020. I am calling it a brown smoke. It is a combination of warm colors with a cool lip. Yes, you can combine the two, makes it very interesting, makes it soft. I will explain that in just a bit. Starting from scratch, just like you, I'm going to apply my foundation, my eyelid primer, and uh, really set the stage to get things going. Are you ready? Let's do it. So just to catch you up to speed, I started with Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Primer, followed it with Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and for my eyeshadow primer, it was Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. So that's my starting point. For this look, like I said, it's a smoky brown look. It is based on the short hairstyle video. It's the makeup application in that video. A lot of you requested that look, so I wanted to make sure that I followed up and just to show that I listened to what you're asking for. So to, to really start this look, we have to begin with the eyebrow for a nice, bold, smoky type of of a look, you need a strong brow to frame your eyes because the eyes are the focal point. So I'm going to use, uh, this is Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in 380. It's a dark brown and it's a gel pomade and I'm going to use an angled brush like so with a little spoolie at the end for brushing everything out and making it soft. But really what we're doing is creating hair-like strokes. So you're gonna take a little bit and work very slowly. So I start with the bottom base of my brow and I am lightly whisking to create that bottom frame. Once I've created that base, I then start going in a vertical motion, creating hair strokes, starting on the middle, the center, and then working my way out. And this is your opportunity if you need to thicken, if you need to widen, but stay pretty close to the parameters that you have, otherwise it's going to look like an artificial brow. And once I get the framework again, just tap, 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 and then just do a real quick check, make sure everything looks good. If you're happy with it, take your spoolie, and now just brush. And this helps to soften it even more, takes out any harsh lines, and if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Next, moving on to the eyeshadow look. I'm using a palette that I have featured here multiple times. That should be good because there is nothing worse than getting recommended a palette and then never seeing it repeat again in a tutorial. It's Sephora Pro. It's one of my absolute favorites. If you have it, you know why. And you will see how used this baby is. It's used. Great, great, great warm colors. I like the fact that there are so many neutrals, browns, even a black to go with it. So this is the palette that I'm going to work from today. All my colors are in this palette. Everything, by the way, will be listed in the description portion of this video. If you are looking at it right now on your computer, it says show more under the description. Click more, it expands. If you're watching on a phone or a tablet, it's that down arrow to the right. Click that, everything expands. So to get things going I have to put my little my little cheat sheet on here and my little cheaters and I am going to start with oh my gosh I got to get this right okay it took about 10 times but I got it uh, brown sugar brown sugar this one here bottom left hand side of the palette a nice sort of a medium brown tone I'm going to go in with a nice firm brush and I'm going to pack this in on my eyelid and going slightly above in the crease. The style of application that I'm doing is based on the makeup from the hooded eye tutorial. It is a look that really creates a big open eye. So if you haven't seen that tutorial yet, uh, I want to make sure that you know it's there. You can watch this one in its entirety and then you can go back and take a look at that just for a little extra technique in the eyeshadow because I explain it in much more detail in that video and why I do certain things. But as you see, I'm taking this medium brown tone and I'm just carrying it up into my crease, but I'm going higher in the crease and then just bringing that down. So it's one wash of color there. Same on the other side. The next color is cedar. Cedar is our darkest brown. 
second to the right. We're going to now block in on our outer corners of our eyes with cedar. Again, a little firm flat brush, a little bit thinner in this case. Starting outer lash line about three quarters of the way out. Going up, rising up, filling in this outer V. Everything will be blended later, so don't worry if it looks a little hard or harsh. You don't want your brushes too flimsy. If they are, the powder will just fly around and won't adhere to the surface. So that's why firm brushes are really important when applying eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take a very small, firm brush and I'm going to use my black, which is obsidian, and I'm gonna hug that really tight on the lash line, but just staying to the outer third and just hugging right on top, a little bit on top of where we put the brown, but not much. I don't go all the way in because it closes the eye off if you do. And if your eyes are close together, it can really accentuate that. Now that that's done, I will use a blending brush. This is now to smooth it all out and bring it together. So I take it in a circular motion. I sort of sweep back and forth, and then I spin it on the sides and it pulls it all together. All right, for the inner corner, firm brush, putting just a little bit of a shimmer. <laughs> that would be sand. This one right here, just a highlight on the inner corner of the eye, that little, that little V. I'm going to take now my brown eyeliner. It's a, a NYX Professional eyeliner. It's in a brown, kind of a smoky brown. If I can see it later, don't worry, the name will be listed in the uh, description. But this is what I'm using now for the waterline, both lower and upper rim. So this is how we smoke it out. And once we have the brown in there, I'm then using black Marc Jacobs for the upper lash line to go just into the lashes, I go from under up. And that way you're not covering the nice shadow that you have here on the lid or that inner sparkle. Keeps the eye open. I'm going to finish up now with my brow highlight, and that's canvas, which is the lightest shade up top here. And I'm just gonna run this right underneath my eyebrow and down on the inside of the eye. So now we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. For that, I'm going back now to brown sugar, which was the first color that we used on our eyelid. Again, a firm brush, and I'm just gonna smudge the lower lash line with that. All just very smudged and smoked. So when you're complete with your eyeshadow and everything is blended and smudged and smoked to perfection, it's time now to apply our mascara. For that, I am using a mascara by Dior. Great, really cool concept. It's got a squishy tube. And so as the mascara pools to the bottom and you're running low, you just, you just squish it and it uh, coats the wand. So I think that's really a genius concept. So as you know, I just do upper lash line only keeps the focus above, and through the power of television, I will speed up this process. So I've applied two coats and I've let it dry, and now the fun part. I'm a huge fan of magnetic eyelashes, in particular the little wing tips. I find they're easier to apply. They're just two magnets that you have to clasp as opposed to three, and I prefer that winged, wider eye look anyway, and it's just easier to do. I take one of these little babies, like so. I rest it right here on the upper lash line, just basically put it exactly where I want it to be. And I get the next one in place. Take my other hand, hold it down. Bring the bottom one to meet the top. And boom. It catches and voila, you have lash extensions. Now look, I, I gotta be honest, it didn't happen like that overnight. 
there were a lot of lashes flying on the floor. <laughs> Where's the lash strip? I mean, it's it takes a while, but once you get it, it's super, super quick and easy. So I just want you to know that there's hope. Okay, so now that the entire eye look is done, it's time to clean up any debris that may have fallen below. So it's the uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that I'm using. Little goes a long way with this stuff. So one touch there, one there. Uh, nice wide brush and just sweep it out. And this is your chance to clean up the side too. Pull it down. Sometimes I'll just carry it right here on the smile lines. Use it as a highlight, a little bit under the nose. And now work the other side. Okay, powder time, hammer time. Derma blend, I know, shocker, it's not Laura Mercier. I ran out, I decided to try something new. I figure if I don't try new things, I'm not presenting anything new on this channel. So, Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. And I've used it, and I like it. So it's um, held up really, really well on air for me, and that's super important to keep shine at bay. Doesn't add color, doesn't change the color of your foundation. It's just a mattifier. I get a little bit around the outside of my lips just to help with my lip liner. Also don't forget neck, chest, anywhere you put foundation to set it. Contour and highlight time. How very exciting. Makes all the difference in the world to me. Um, if you are not real sure where to put contour and highlight, a link to that video is going up as well. I want to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing and you feel comfortable with it. Uh, you don't want to look like you got tiger stripes all over your face. It is again just like the smoked eye. You don't know where things start or stop. Same thing with contouring and highlighting. Just depth and dimension but you can't quite see where what's going on. So I'm starting with uh, Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow and this is a contour highlight palette. Great colors and I have an angled brush. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to go right here underneath my cheekbone. You can already see the, the highlight on the cheekbone. So I'm going right here. If you have to, duck face it. And we are contoured. Okay, I am going to use now more of a bronzer for the cheek color at the moment. This is Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Medium. It's a warm color. Just gonna kinda warm up the cheeks again. All of my colors so far, browns, neutrals, warm. And now the highlight, which you saw from the Revolution Pro Kit. Little dabble do ya. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. Personal preference, you can do highlight with shimmer or without. I'm using a very small amount whisking right here on my cheekbone, middle forehead, just a tip of the nose, hit of the chin. Very, very small. That's it. All right, we are just about complete. Moving on to the lippies, and this is where we're going to cool things down a little bit and stay light. So the pencil that I've chosen is NYX Professional Lip Pencil in Nude Truffle. Love it. Almost a barely there lip pencil. And afterward, I take a small little brush and I smoke that too. Again, no hard lines in this look. So it looks like a shadow border more than a lip line. And now, last but not least, my Color Du Jour. Another NYX product. As you can see, I'm a big fan. I've incorporated a lot of drugstore makeup in this look. NYX Slip Tease, and it is Let's Get Physical. This has been a color that I have worn a lot lately. And as you can see, it's a cool tone. It's a little bit of a beigey, taupey nude. Um, but somehow, it just pulls it all together in a different, neat kind of a way. And I don't think everything should be so matchy-matchy anyway. It's not a gloss. It's a lipstick, but it's a cream-based lipstick. Um, feels good on the lips, moisturizing, which I love in the winter time. There you go. There's your smoky brown makeup look for January of 2020. Let's pull back, you get it all in perspective. Fun, neutral, warm, tad cool, 
and a little sexy, I think. Love this look. It's kind of a signature go-to. Sometimes I play around with the colors a little bit, which is why I love a palette like the Sephora Pro in warm. You can, instead of doing such a neutral brown, you can use a little bit more of the reds or the oranges on the lids, but still using the same outer technique with the dark brown and the black, so many options. So when you find a great palette, boy, it's like such a home run, um, being able to use up all the colors. And I'm happy to show you a dirty, used, grungy palette because it means I'm loving it. So if I'm gonna recommend it, I'm gonna love it. Speaking of recommendations, please list yours below of what you would like to see on this channel. Uh, a couple of uh, just housekeeping notes. When you subscribe to my channel, you won't be notified that I've released a video unless you ring the bell. So there's that little bell next to the subscribe button. I encourage you to ring it because that way, and just ringing it means click it. Uh, that way, every time I release a video, which is at Thursday at 1 p.m., you'll get an email in your inbox saying, Dominique has released a new video and it's about this and go check it out. So that way you're notified and I wanna make sure that you are and you know what's going on. Secondly, I wanna make sure that you're following me on social media. Instagram and Facebook is where I am practically every single day, uh, posting all different kinds of things. Um, a lot of encouragement, beauty, family, work, a little bit of everything. So it's, it's slice of life as I call it. Um, and that's about it. It's, it's an exciting and busy year. A lot of things going on, a lot of very exciting things, which will unfold and unravel as the year goes by. But um, I love using what I know and this platform that I have to be able to teach and impart information. And I'm constantly on the lookout. I'm watching, I'm seeing what's out there. Um, I, I always want to find new things if they're valuable, like, like a, a new powder, and bring it to you. And if some things are just tried and true like an eyeshadow palette then I'm happy to tell you about that too so with your smoky brown makeup look go out be bold be blessed be fabulous and I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock bye